Hi everyone, welcome back. We're go now going to be looking at the muscles moving the acetabulofemoral or hip joint. Let's start with looking at the hip flexors. The hip flexors we're going to be looking at, and first of all just do a complete scan of the adductor side as we come up the medial surface of the calf, foot, and ankle. So this is the muscle model we're going to be looking at. So let's start with iliopsoas. Uh, first of all, on the inner surface of the ilium here, this is called iliacus. Psoas would be much higher up, coming off of the lumbar vertebrae. But uh, here we have the iliacus muscle, and we can imagine psoas coming down to join it, psoas major, psoas minor, coming down to join it. And as they do, iliacus and psoas join together with this common tendon here. This is the tendon of iliopsoas. So that's one hip flexor. Another major hip flexor is rectus femoris, right here. This is one of the quadricep muscles right in the front of the femur, front of the thigh. And then the other one is sartorius, this beautiful muscle which curses its way along from the anterior superior iliac spine all the way down to the proximal medial surface of the tibia. So that's sartorius. Then we get into the extensors, gluteus maximus being a big obvious extensor. The hamstring muscles, of which we have semitendinosus on the medial surface, underneath it semimembranosus, and then biceps femoris long head being a hip extensor. The adductors as a group over here, such as gracilis, adductor magnus here, here, as well as showing up here, and adductor longus over here. The abductors, if I take away gluteus maximus just for a second, we can see that we have gluteus medius, we have tensor fascia lata, and underneath gluteus medius would be gluteus minimus. And then these muscles also function as internal rotators. And then we have the deep six lateral rotators, piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, and then we have quadratus femoris, uh, obturator externus not visible on the model. So those are your hip external rotators, adductors, flexors as we did, extensors, and abductors and internal rotators.